Looking for level three. There is level three. You can do a tiny hop. Hit. Hit. I wonder if that has any mechanical use in a game like this. Or if they just put a, a jump in because people like to jump in games. Hit. Hit. Alright. Okay, what? Why? All the windmills are just sticking out of the wall. They're not even consistently facing the same direction. This whole game's turning into some kind of non-Euclidean nightmare space. I wonder if it's supposed to feel like madness or not. Madness. 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 Alright, so I need that to be lit up, but I also need that to be lit up, and I can't move them, right? All you can do is tilt them around. Hmm. And it's long enough that these two things cannot point at the opposite bridge. But how do I light that one up? Okay. Time to do one of those thinkies that I have to do sometimes. <laughs> hmm. So you need to be lit up for me to go this way. I can only rotate them when I'm at them, so they have to be... So it would feel like they both have to be facing their current bridges so I can walk over here. But I somehow have to activate both of them at the same time. Which shouldn't really be possible. I can chain these two together, but then I still just drop out when I get over here. Which is problem. It is major, major problem. Um... As a puzzle should, this feels like an inherent contradiction. It does not just get solved by just plugging away at it. Ah! I did a die. Um... to be this close to change the direction of one of these guys. You can't walk across while it's in this state. I just learned a thing. While I'm in that state, all of these count as being on. I didn't really consider that, but yeah, in the, when you're in that world, everything's awakened. Which means that if I can just have that facing there, I can just walk down its tunnel, then across it. As long as I don't leave the tunnel, it stays active. We essentially learned a new thing. Kind of. 
more like we're learning the ramifications of the rule that we were taught. A connection of a few different strange mechanics. I guess that's why this one's called Labyrinth. Hmm. Bubba-da-bum, 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 bubba-da-bum. Alright. That does not line up with that. As one might expect. Then I'll drop back out, but then you'll bring me back in. The truth is hidden in a maze of lies. Lose yourself in the music the moment you want, and you better never let it go among the walls of uncertainty to find your way through the endless doubt. You only get one shot. Do not miss a chance to flow. <laughs> Number four. Oh, that was really trippy to watch the silhouette turn into a thing in my face. That was Spook Smadooks. How do you live there? Why is that guy's house so much bigger than yours? This really does feel like a nightmare hellscape land. We're just all sense of it's it's like it's supposed to be like a creepy parody of real look how tiny that house is and look how big that house is. They have to be fucking with me. On purpose. I have to think they didn't just haphazardly throw these around without thinking about scale at all, and they must have been intentionally making it make not absolutely no sense. Cause like the games that do this kind of visual Minus the colors, of course, are usually horror games. Hmm. You keep the door locked. Shit. Do you... Does the statue block the... Be it does. Weird. And problem. Um... Wait, that's good. Because that means I can switch with you while you're there. Because you stay, you stay awakened. So I can just switch right back. Haha! -ha. 
I had the solution like immediately, but I just didn't notice it yet. Hello, additional world. I need to rotate you. Or just take this out. Come to me to a more useful location. If you're gonna go in any direction, it's gonna be that one, but I might be done with you. We shall see. I'm not sure that you are helpful. I think you're the one that I want, the one that I need. If I switch with you, I'm over here and everything's dark. Ha ha! Your questions will not answer themselves. Search for them or risk ignorance. Google that shit! Your questions will not answer themselves, which is why God invented Jeeves. <laughs> okay, now I have to check. Is that still a website? Oh yeah, ask.com. Was founded 23 years ago in 1996 as Ask Jeeves. Now it's just called ask.com. I remember Ask Jeeves. You can tell that ask.com is a very popular website, because when you type Ask Chiefs, the number one result you get is the Wikipedia page instead of the real page. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, down, oh, there it is. Yep, ask, ask just looks exactly like Google, apparently. I learned a thing. I guess. Um... There seems to be a sad man. Look at those dangerous ass bridges, if that is what they are. Oh, his hands are... Maybe he's thirsty instead of sad. His, cat, his hands are cupped in the river as it flows. Hello. Question is, why do I care that you're there? You seem so isolated and pointless. Oh. But I've got a ha whole ass from here. Is the angle even right? Is the angle seriously not right? Doesn't even line up. So... How do I get over there? There is not a platform. There is no catwalk.
I can only get over there if it's lit up by that as far as I can tell. I don't think I can like send the gem over there myself. Oh, I'm an idiot. Maybe I'm getting tired. Yes. I am a dumb. This level's actually exceptionally simple. Just a weird system to think with at times. This game has a really particular list of, of mechanics that have their own very strange ways of being manifested. So now I need to get over here, and this bridge will generate if I have in the dark zone. But how will I get into this dark, this dark zone? Will I do it very easily? Hmm? You're gonna collapse, but it doesn't matter, because this one has a floor. Haha! -ha. So you're currently dark zone, so I can switch with you, and then now the dark zone goes past the statue and makes this platform happen. Yep, 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 yep. Many easily confuse a promising sunrise with an empty sunset. They might look similar, but what's about to come is not. All I hear is a bunch of lazy fucks don't know what time of day it is. And that, that's, that's, you gotta get your life together, man. I am ascending towards the enlightenment of my religion or whatever's happening in this game. Fight. Hey there, how you doing? Yeah? They're training. Are these two identical? That guy and that guy? No, n yes? Not quite, I don't think. The shirts are a little different, the hair is a little different, but not very... I'm not really sure which one of them is the kid anymore. Hmm. The warrior is training them to fight. Look at these glinty ass weapons. Oh, the glare. All I can see. The pillars in this room are hourglasses that are flowing without actually flowing, which raises questions. Yeah, the room's just full of money. I mean, weapons. Don't know why I said money. I don't think you want the entire spear to be made of metal. That'd be very heavy. I believe they usually just make the weapon part of the spear out of metal and the, ex and the extension, the grip, the shaft would be wood. Eh. I guess if you approach it this way, you don't have to deal with textures. You can just have one material be everything. That's the <clears throat> that's the secret. Hello. Oh, I was standing directly on the spot. Gotcha. This one's called Faith. My job's to get over there. There's currently a gate in the way. I need to get a statue to be in that gate.
No, it's not awakened. I have made the greater mistake. Oh no, I didn't think this one through. So as long as I'm in this beam, I can switch. But the moment I step out, I'm in trouble. Because I need to have my actual meter in order to get much done over here. Now we have new problem. Ah, good guy. It is perhaps fixed problem. I think it is fixable problem. So now it's facing that way, so now we'll be good to go. I can go to the Shadow Realm exactly when I need to. But now, part two. What have we here? I noticed that you face stupid direction. Instead face good direction, yes? Is that awakened? I can't tell because I can't get out of my own ring. There we go. Yes. That angle counts as it being awakened. Ah, but there is a downside. You see, the direction it's facing also fucks me. Uh... It should be impossible to get past that briar right there, because the approach to it is currently covered in darkness. That is bad. But if I power you with it, maybe you can now do something else. Something useful. Oh shit. What happens when I close the gate? Does the power still go through or does it get blocked like the statue blocks it? No, it still goes through. Good to know. But now when I go that way, I won't be able to get forward. Ah, because you stop on this harp. You could only go as far as this harp and no further, so this is powerable, but I have to be not powered here and then be powered there. This is a problem. I was thinking I could switch with it if I get like over here, but I, I'm trapped. I have become trapped. Oopsie. Uh oh. 
Oh no. Oh, I know I can just walk back. Except now it's trapped here, that's not good. Uh, I have to reset the problem now. I also thought that I need to change the direction of that, which means I need to... Wow, I think I have to resolve the entire problem in order to do what I want to do here. That's six. It especially sucks if you kind of forget how you solved it in the first place. Ah. Oh, it's tedious. Shit. I have to re-remember how I solved the first part of the puzzle and solve it again from scratch because I screwed up and lost access to that part because it's locked behind the gate. Shit. What did I do? I was trying to think about what to do with the next part of the puzzle. And I went and trapped myself. I guess that's all I need. Uh. happening I think it was that I had to go back over here so I could turn you around that's what I did this is the step I was forgetting about And I was doing all this just because I think I was thinking that maybe I need you to face this way. Fuck, but that's the other. Fuck. Right, because I can't get past the spikes when it's like that. So that's just me fucking looping with my bad ideas. I just did all that to do a thing that's not even right. Uh, when you're diagonal, you stop on the harp. I wish I could see this at an angle where it's easy to see the grid of where the diagonals all go. I just figured, I figured it might go there, because I forgot that I've already checked and it goes there. Because if it happened to go there, then I could go across here in that mode. The main thing is I need a source of darkness that's behind that spike, so I can go back into dark mode and continue forward. Possibly with my statue. <laughs> Unless the real thing is that I need my gem. Do I just need the gem for my statue? Um, hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not sure I could I would buy that I'd go that way that with that. Not necessarily. Hmm. I'll have to be very careful. Or else I'll just be at risk of starting the whole puzzle again. <laughs> Because the issue with this gem is that there's kind of an all or nothing system going on here where you have these beams and when they point at particular directions, as long as you're in the beam, you can keep going. But the moment you step out, the continuity of all the beams that you're currently going through all turn off and then you lose the entire puzzle and so on. You have to be pretty careful with that. So I was talking about that needs to be over there. So I was talking about putting the gem in my statue. It's funny how it becomes my statue once there's only one of them and it's the central thing I use to get around. Because with that, I... You should actually be able to reach, yeah. You should be able to see the origin light point from there, so... I could then just use it to, to get past all of those by being in the dark zone like normal. Okay. Like, if I stay in these beams, I can keep the beam going for a while. That's how you guys work. Hmm. That's better. So currently we're in the light, but I can switch with you because you have the gem in you. And as we've established, these things only block one direction. It's not, they're not holes, they're specifically ramps that'll face this way, so you can always retreat. They must have playtested these puzzles so much to make them solvable. Uh, like always solvable. Because every now and then, I don't think I've vocalized it, but every now and then I feel like I've been trapped. And I'm like, oh fuck, I'm screwed. I accidentally got tra trapped myself on this island, there's no way off. And then I always realize, like, no, there's always a way off. The mechanics always have a way out. I think some of that's the distinction between the ones that... Ugh. <clears throat> I think that's some of the distinction between why sometimes it's a hole that kills you and sometimes it's not. Pointless switch, yay! One more time. <laughs> Faith is a curtain that shields and conceals. Faith is a fucking blindfold. <laughs> as far as I can tell, even by this game's example. Da 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 da! Wait, Oh, right, one out of six, because that's the first room I've done. Right, that is, yeah. <laughs> I just had a double take of like, what do you mean I've only done one out of the six so far? Yeah. <laughs> We're on the third floor. 